Welcome back to DC News Now at 5. I'm Mark Hall. And I'm Annalisa Gale. Well, with the ongoing strike of dock workers, we're looking into what prices may go up. As a result, most experts say an immediate impact won't be felt on essentials, but a quick price check between stores will help consumers decide where to shop and save the most. And we can anchor Ben Dennis is stretching your dollar bin. You're back with another grocery price check, but also a look at what grocery prices may rise if the strike continues. Hey guys, good evening. It's not just the port of Baltimore more that's quiet right now. It is all of these ports down the east and Gulf coasts. I'm told that could mean grocery prices and availability could take a hit, but likely only if the strike prolongs for several months. Still, it's always a good time to price check as we do for 10 essentials at three popular supermarkets. Food supposed to arrive in the U.S. from ships stuck at sea at a halt. How bad could this really get for everyday consumers? I think that uh, we're going to be okay in the immediate term. If this lasts a while, you know, in terms of weeks and months, then uh, certainly these companies will run out of stock and uh, consumers may uh, experience shortages. That's Dr. Martin Dresner with the University of Maryland School of Business. We caught up on consumer impacts from a dock worker strike. So what costs could eventually creep up if a strike prolongs? Uh, bananas, for example, specialty cheeses, some sort of canned goods may come over from uh, from Europe or Asia. Take a step back. Here's how prices fare to start the week at Walmart, Giant, and Safeway. Between the three, Walmart offers the lowest prices for seven out of 10 pantry essentials we've identified. Giant out on top for two essentials seen here, while Safeway wins for just one. As shoppers use digital coupons and store loyalty programs, you'll also notice a change over the course of the week. At Walmart, 12 brown eggs got 64 cents cheaper, and a one pound tray of ground beef dropped 30 cents, and giant 12 brown eggs rose 49 cents, while wheat bread dropped 90 cents. Over at Safeway, an avocado went up a buck, and wheat bread rose 50 cents. Many companies have been vocal lately about this strike, saying that they have a large amount of product available to meet consumer demand. What we don't know is how long worker negotiations will last and how significantly foreign foods could be impacted. Back to you.